Mr. Dincher family, it's me again. I'm sorry it has been a few minutes since I posted last, but it has been absolutely insane at my house. Uh, about three weeks ago, my husband threw his back out, and he has been in absolute agony ever since. We finally got him to the chiropractor, and the second visit, it was actually, he tweaked it before we went in, and it just absolutely put him on the floor. I mean, the week before, the first week, it was, wasn't too bad. He was hurting, and he wasn't sleeping well at night, but it wasn't as bad as when he tweaked it, and literally, he spent... Three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, four, day, four days in bed. Took him back to the chiropractor on Friday, and they had him see the nurse practitioner, and he's got to have an MRI, and they have him in a back brace now. They put him on steroids, so he's doing a lot better. He's mobile. He actually went to work today, bless him. <laughs> he's trying so hard and feeling so bad about not being able to do anything and help me. So... You know, I keep telling them not to worry about it, but you know how men are, especially men who think they're the man of the house and they have to be invincible and just strong and not have to deal with, you know, you see that too, <laughs> that was my dog. Um, they have to be so strong and just, he doesn't like having to lay back and, and let everybody else wait on him. He'd much rather do, be the one that's doing, you know, waiting on somebody else, which is why he loves taking care of me when I get sick, so that's why it's just... Turnabout's fair play. He took care of me when I had my anemia issues. He took care of me when I had my teeth out. So it's just his turn now. Although he'd much rather be without pain. But as for me, I'm doing well. Just, you know, stressed out with everything that's going on with him. And it's just been super, super stressful. Dentures are holding great. Still in a holding pattern until I get my permanence in October. I actually got an email from Aspen that said it's time to schedule your permanence and it's like okay people you've already scheduled it but I, I know it's a standard form email that they send out time wise you know they set it up at the beginning because I do that I have clients I do that for it I set up emails for it to go out at specific times and specific specific time frames for their consultants in their units so but um, I'm not going back for the, the I'm due for another rerun this month but I don't think a reline is going to do me any good right now. I'm not having any real issues. I do have to glue my uppers in, but um, with the reline in it, this from the last time, it's really not that big. The bottoms are feeling super bulky every time I put them in, so I think I've got some serious shrinkage. Um, I have denture fit in it now, still, and it's doing pretty well holding in. I still have some suction with the denture fit in the bottom, so they'll stay in pretty well without adhesive. So. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. If I have issues, I may go back in September, and then I'll have my permanence the next month. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm, I'm eating everything. There's not any issues with me eating. I can eat just about everything I want to. On occasion, I have difficulty with some items like celery because it's so fibrous. It's hard to just cut through that with the teeth. But other than that, you know, things are, are holding pretty well with the dentures. Um, I am still using the powder paste combo. Still using Dr. B's. Love that uh, cleaner did especially. It really, really, really does help with the dry mouth. And I have a, still have a little bit of dry mouth, but as a couple of people pointed out to me, I'm using the powder on top of the paste and the powder cause, can cause dry mouth with those issues. So I think my dry mouth it's just a little bit. I don't think it's as severe as it would be if I weren't using the clean bit. So I think that's helped a whole lot. Um, still, I haven't been able to get on the, the groups a whole lot lately because everything is just absolutely insane. I'm constantly up and down taking care of the hubby and the house and doing all the things that he would normally do. Like I had to go take the trash to the dump soon. And, you know, just it's like life happens. And knowing that right now I don't have to worry about about these, any issues with these, because right now it's, it's still holding in pretty well. I would still love to have some J.O.'s dentures. I would seriously love to be able to get that. But right now, with the medical bills I had in January and with paying for these, and now the medical bills that are going to be coming in from my husband's back 
stuff going on. Um, that's not going to be an option anytime soon. So hopefully, when next year we can get some bills paid off. I did get a couple of them paid off a month ago, and then on top of that, I'm going to be getting the medical bills in. So, like I said, life still goes on, even though you get your teeth out, you get new teeth, adopted teeth. I call them my adopted teeth, um, plates, whatever you want to call them. Life still happens. Life still goes on. There's still stress. There's still, you know, factors that that just happens and you can't get away from that even though you've got dentures and you have those issues on top of that and um, I hope that you don't I hope that you're getting used to the ones you've got I hope that if you can't wear them that you're getting that resolved with your dentist you know you still have options and you know absolutely insisting that they do their relines when they're supposed to um, that if they're not made properly in the beginning that you get them replaced you have absolutely right remember You've got patients' rights, and you hired them to, to do this. You hired them to, to make your dentures. You hired them for the extractions, not the other way around. So if they're inexperienced and they have their office policies in how they do things, you know, you still got the right to demand service, appropriate service. And just make sure that, you know, you do that. You stay on top of it. Like I've said before, if you go in there for your reline, you go in there for your impressions or however your wax trains, whatever. Don't leave that chair until you're happy. Make sure that they know that you're unhappy with whatever product. I mean, it's more more difficult to go out and then talk to somebody else about it and say, yeah, I really wasn't happy with those. And let me call them back. It's it can be done, but it's more difficult to to get what you need when you do that. Just don't get above that chair until you're until you're absolutely happy with what you've got. But that's all I've got. I just wanted to give you guys a real quick update. I am now, I think, it's the 21st, two days shy of being four months. So I'm almost at my four month mark now. Two more months until, so I'm over the hump. I'm over the halfway point until I get my permanents. And with the way time is flying, it's going to be literally no time until I get my, my permanents. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And just don't give up. As Bill Wesson says, never give up. You got the right, you got the options. Just and if you need help, just please feel free to call out. There's a lot of us in the venture community. There's Margaret, there's Stephanie, Donna, um, Kayla. Just there's so many people out there that are willing to, to reach out and give you a helping hand. All you have to do is ask if you're having problems. Just feel free to. Anytime you have problems, you have questions, anything like that, please feel free to ask. There's a lot of us out there that would love to help. And that's what we're here for. That's why we make these videos, so that we can help. You guys, I hope you have a great day. God bless. I'll see you next time.